Alright, so in this video I'm going to talk about drugs. <laughs> I'm going to talk about ecstasy. I'm going to talk about how I got into ecstasy and how I did ecstasy and how it can get you. So if you're curious about ecstasy and uh, what it's like to do ecstasy and what it does to you and things like that, this is your video. I actually really like the name Ecstasy. I used to remember there was a song, it was called, like they were saying Ecstasy and it sounded really cool. And Anyway, I was totally against drugs. Um, I remember back in the day I had my first car, it was a Ford Tempo or something and we had a few girls in the back, like, at, like it was like one of the rare occasions I, we actually had these girls in my car so we were so excited, it was in high school. And, um, and some of these girls, they started to light weed in my back of my car and I stopped the car I was like no 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 get the hell out of my car nobody smokes weed in my car because I was so anti-drug so this is how much I was against drug and eventually what happens is uh, I remember back in high school I was experiencing a lot of loneliness I was uh, I, I, I was immigrated to Canada so I didn't have a lot of friends I couldn't speak English and I was really lonely in high school I was the type of guy who um, like, you know, in lunch times and, like, dance classes or any of those, I was just constantly, like, running away and didn't want to be seen because I didn't have anyone to hang out with. That kind of situation it was. So, having felt that lack, I always felt like people don't like me or I was feeling a little bit of a loner sometimes, right? So, anyway, eventually I started to have some friends. And um, <coughs> <coughs> one day we were invited to this uh, party it was a rave actually and I remember in that rave I went in and uh, some girl told me there's this drug called ecstasy this pill and you take it and you're gonna feel really really good wow, it's, it's pouring rain here if you can see it's crazy anyway um, this is Indonesia by the way anyway so I go to this rave and uh, I always was against drugs, but I didn't know even these pills are, are, are such a bad thing. I thought drugs are usually cocaine or weed or things like that. So I wasn't, I was like, okay, I can do one pill, can't be that bad. So, anyway, so I go to this, man, it's so loud here. I go to this um, rave and I, and I just, uh, and I just take this small pill. A little pill, this big, very small. I take this pill, and next thing you know, everything changed. All of a sudden, I couldn't stop laughing or smiling, and I was so happy. And it was like a very unique experience that I've never experienced in my entire life. It was, it was like a feeling of feeling love for everyone. I felt love. I felt everybody likes me. I felt really good, I felt like I'm a cool person, I felt confident. And surprisingly, it was actually true, everybody really, really, really did like me that night. <laughs> and I run into this girl and she starts kissing me, wow. Like I'm this lonely dude in high school and this beautiful girl starts making out with me, totally. So can you imagine how amazed I was, like wow, like I'm just coming out of my loneliness with this little pill. Wow, what, a, what, a, what an incredible gift. Little did I know, that was complete bullshit. <laughs> and that was complete... Um, it was like an opening into a whole other realm of hellness and pain and misery and suffering. So, anyway, so what happened is that night I remember I lost my keys and... What happened the next day, I experienced a lot of suffering. So the amazing thing about this drug, ecstasy, is that initially it puts you into a very amazing mood. You feel really good. But that's only the first few times. Sometimes only the first time. And then it's called chasing the dragon. Where you're constantly trying to get that first initial feeling. Oh my god, I can't believe how much it's raining. I gotta show you. Wow. Wow, that's amazing. Anyway, <laughs> but what happens is, after you do the drug, it starts to completely change your experience of life. 
So the next day after you do the drug, you become incredibly depressed. That means, I, I want you to think about a time where you were sad, depressed, bored, lonely, and I want you to multiply that by 100, if you can imagine. Imagine a situation where you cannot sleep, you cannot sleep. You are incredibly antisocial. You hate people. You are self-conscious and you feel guilty. And you are feeling incredibly depressed and life is miserable. That's how you feel the day after doing ecstasy. <laughs> and that's not even, even near how bad you feel. So it feels incredibly depressing. And not only just one day, you feel like that for at least sometimes a couple of weeks, some, sometimes a week, couple of weeks, and you feel terrible. And now something else is happening in your brain, really. You're becoming so dependent on this drug because now you experience some high that nothing will compare to it. So if you were enjoying, you know, meeting a new, going on a date before, like, before, if you would go on a date, it would feel good because you're on a date, you see a beautiful person you're attracted to, then nothing will come near that experience of getting high because it was such a high experience. So basically, you're going to end up going back there again in a couple of weeks or a week and slowly you go through these cycles of uh, short-term pleasure, suffering, short-term pleasure, suffering. Before you know it, you're so used to this lifestyle. Years go by. You start hiding it from... That's what I was doing, by the way. I was saying, you, it means me. I was hiding it from my family. I was uh, just getting more and more depressed. I was skipping school. I hated school. And uh, drugs was my only fun. That was my only fun. And I was like, what else can I do? This is my only fun. And, uh, and that led to a lot of misery. Now... Fast forwarding to, to years later, where eventually, after enough suffering, I stopped doing those drugs. I started to experience a new way of living. I started to experience what it's like to be happy for no reason. I started to experience what it's like to, um, after this is after five years or so of being clean, I started to really experience a good feeling that it wasn't comparable to anything. Like I would get up, I, I get up in the morning some days and uh, like most days, if I'm not sick, I get up in the morning and I just feel good. And I guess the reason I stopped doing drugs, I can tell you this one before I finish this video, is the reason I stopped doing drugs is, it's actually many, many reasons, but one of the reasons is that all the friendships, all the people you meet when you're on drugs, all the experiences you have are so fake and they're so not real so it's like a fake experience there's no depth to it you know what I mean like you meet people and you make friends but they're not real friendships they're really superficial if you really know do need those people they would let you die on the side of the street they would never they would never support you but when you're on drugs they act like they're your best friend and your brother and they really are when they're on drugs <laughs> but the truth is <coughs> it's a very lonely path it's a very depressing path and it's a path that leads to death some people die some people go broke some people end up in shitty relationships shitty marriages so anyway if you haven't done drugs you know I would suggest um, don't do it <laughs> I know it's difficult not to do because everybody is everywhere, right? It's in your school, people are telling you it's cool to do, a lot of cool people doing it. But if you haven't done it, realize you're not missing out. It's garbage. Don't need it. Um, on the other hand, if you're, if you're doing it on a regular basis, which probably many of you are, um, realize that there is a way out. Realize that... Um, and it depends on how long you've been doing it. Some of you who just started maybe a year or two or even three years, who knows, you're really loving it and you're like, wow, this guy is such a loser. This drug is awesome. But let me tell you, whatever you're doing, it's going to come to a crash. And every, every addiction starts with pain and ends with pain. And uh, if you think, if you think 
yeah, it's working for you, you're right in the middle of the addiction phase. So sooner or later it's going to crash. So if you're on drugs, if you're doing drugs, um, I suggest that, I can't even make a suggestion to you if you're doing drugs. I'm just sharing you my experience. Just be aware that uh, what path you're going through and uh, realize that um, life without drugs is nothing like you can actually imagine right now. Here's what I was going to say. It's coming now. See, when I was on drugs, when I was doing drugs, I could not imagine what it's like to not be doing drugs. You see what I mean? So when I was doing drugs, I could not remember how good it feels to not be doing drugs. I hope you get this. Because when you're doing drugs, it changes your mind and your emotions and your feelings, your serotonin, your brain so much that you don't even know how good it feels to not be doing drugs. Do you see what I mean? So you become so accustomed to that feeling of doing drugs that you don't realize how amazing it is to not do drugs. Because every time you stop doing drugs, you feel depressed. But you have to wait for about six months. You have to go through a phase of pain till eventually you start rebuilding your brain neurons and you start being normal again. So you have to go through a phase of uh, discomfort. It's not easy. During this time, you want to just start working out, move to a new city, and start changing routines. So anyway, so if you haven't done drugs, you know, you're not missing out. If you're doing, doing drugs right now, realize that it's going to take you six months to recover, to get to real understanding of what it's like to not do drugs. And the good feelings will come. And... Um, <coughs> And uh, yeah, so I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions, comments, post it. I want to know what are your thoughts, what are your questions, so I can answer them in other videos. Have a great day and great uh, talking to you. Bye-bye.